Uh, this is uh, part six of uh, Let's Play Terraria, and this is Doctor Bob two seven six. Um, we ju just come back, I believe, with a lot of stuff. Been a couple days since I played on this file, but um, yeah. So let's get to it. Uh, I need to um, make a treasure area, but apparently uh, <laughs> we're out of room right here, and my computer's running slow again. That's bad. All right, I got a treasure chest. I'll fit right there. Um. Put our mushroom seeds in there, mud blocks. We can plant a mushroom farm later. Oh, yeah. Um, you can make an alchemy station in this game by taking a bottle and placing it on a table, like so. And then I uh, have the ability now to make lesser mana potions, which I won't do, but I can get the mushrooms back, I believe. Yep. And make greater healing potions, or just normal healing potions. Greater. Uh, forgive me for that. Um, so, I'm going to take this, make some lessers using some of our gel and yeah, mushrooms. That's good enough. Then you use two lesser healing potions and a glowing mushroom, and you get a normal healing potion. And they heal 200 health back, which is really good. I don't even, really don't really need them yet, but I guess I'll use them. Make some more of those. Just carry both with us. Don't need the red bricks. Wow, our... Our house needs an upgrade. Actually, we do need the red bricks because we need to make an upper floor for the merchant. We can use stone and such, though. Not too worried about it. A dynamite. Don't need that now. Shurikens. Yeah, I got my bow. I'll use that. Store those for later. Oh, yeah. We have this boomerang now. Five versus... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really, not really feeling the boomerang in a way. That's ah, good up close, we'll keep it. Um put the bomb we need the bombs. Sorry this is it's kinda of tedious task, but it'll we'll be done soon. Keep the fallen stars in case we get more and make a mana crystal, maybe. Make a bottle. Alright, thought it'd be enough, but I heard a star fall, so we're gonna go outside quickly and get it and then we'll smell all of our ore. Kill the zombies. Oh, god, yeah, good thing I didn't put the boomerang away. That thing's killing him. I wonder if I can pick up items with it. Nope. Get the fallen stars. Wow, I run slow. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing on my other save, and I've searched like six or seven dungeons, and I still have not, because I just kept switch, putting up new worlds, and I cannot find rocket boots. Making me so mad. Okay, so get near the furnace. Go in here and make us some bars. There we go. That should be enough to make uh, some armor. Yeah, like one piece of it. It takes a lot of uh, a lot of bars in this game to make armor. Like 30-something. No, oh, only 20-something for these. Make some iron. What other kind of things we make? I don't know if we have enough for silver yet. Oh, we do. Silver, and we got gold. Oh, well, not, not very much gold, but we did get some gold. Oops. Whatever. Alright, oh, this amethyst I should put in here. And during the day, I think we're going to upgrade our house. Maybe I'll make this part just wood for now, or I can go in the ground to get more dirt while I wait. Okay, mushrooms. Good in here. This there. There we go. Alright, that's good enough for now. I don't want to take forever just uh just sorting with my inventory like I'm doing. What has it been? Four minutes and that's all I've been doing. Jeez. Um, let's keep going ahead. There we go. Kill the demon eye. Now to make up for that, maybe I'll do something really exciting. Like a run around suicidally at night. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. Oh, I hit it. Just a minute. Nope. Did it go away? I don't know. There it is. All right, so let's uh, tear this dirt out because it's annoying me. Or zombies, gonna go kill them. See, the the very beginning of the game is kind of slow paced because you don't really have anything to uh, do during certain times of the day. Like I'm not really strong enough to venture out at night yet. There we go. Should just use the boomerang. That's what I should be using. Look at that thing. All right. 
I think I'm going to go in here and look for some clay so we can uh, upgrade our house and we can get a merchant in there. And the merchant will uh, sell items for you. He'll do all kinds of other things. Well, no, not all kinds of other things. That's about all he does. <laughs> um, he'll sell you items. And you can sell items to him, which is actually more of a it's more important function because all he really sells is like uh, shurikens, arrows, torches, stuff like that. I should uh, build something underneath me. Oh, that's what I forgot to store. Got to store my chest within the chest. As weird as that sounds. Get some dirt. Yeah, lately uh, been playing Minecraft again, working on automated farms and uh. Things like that. But uh, what I really want to do finally this summer is actually get going outside and, you know, do things that I like to do, like go outdoors versus sit in the house all day and play games. Even though this, don't get me wrong, this playing games is fun, but, you know, when you get cooped up indoors all winter, it's like it feels really good just, uh, just to get going outside. <laughs> it reminds me of a funny story a few years back. I went, uh, we went down to the lake with my friend Monkey, and uh, his nephew is there <clears throat> sw swimming in the water. It feels so bad for him, but uh, we were swimming, and all of a sudden he starts screaming, and we can't figure out what's wrong. And he has, he has one of those, uh, you know, those little deer flies stuck to his back, and. <laughs> he said, he tried everything. He tried uh he tried dunking in the water to get rid of it. It just sit there. Yes, wouldn't get off. It was great. Um, <laughs> well, it's terrible. I'm laughing at poor, you know, his misfortune. So does that not like that shot in Froya song or something? But it's pretty funny. I won't lie. Cause all of a sudden he's just like everything's all normal and you know all good and all of a sudden he just like starts screaming out of nowhere for nothing. And uh. Yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> uh, say, uh, I used to go do a lot more fishing and uh, going camping a lot when I was younger. Haven't been much a couple of years, you know, the way the economy's been. And uh, the way money is tight and gas money makes it hard to travel and all that. So I don't really get to go with anybody as much. But hopefully I'll get to go up more this year. Maybe I'll get a video or something of us, like, turkey hunting in the fall. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, to all you non-hunters, uh, not not trying to be. I say, um, I guess I'll just tell you, don't watch it. But, um, that's not not why I make them is to offend you. I can understand why some people uh, don't like hunting and such. I mean, it's kind of odd. But when you when you grow up in a community around it and you're used to it, it's, you know, just kind of what you do. Come on, looking for. Oh yeah, you can make clay pots. I have no idea what they're for. I think they're just decoration. And now I've completely forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, I'm making red bricks. I had more clay than I thought I did. Let's go over here. Store my chest in the chest. However, that works. Same thing as Minecraft. Mind-boggling. Um. Oh yeah, I need my. Is that red bricks? Yeah, there's red bricks. Red. Yeah, red bricks. No, red bricks right there. Glowing mushroom. Got it going right there. Okay, close the door. Go over here. Pick up some copper coin. Let's go, let's go look for fallen stars. Screw sitting around. Not going to do that. I think I'm well enough equipped to actually survive a bit. I got potions and such. Oh, there's clay over there, too. I had already been over here. I didn't even know it. Well, we're going to go get that clay. Because... I want to work in that house. Look at that night. Stupid moon still up there. I don't know why people are so adamant about hating this game. I uh, I don't get it. There's there's a lot of hate for it because they say it's so similar to Minecraft or something. But oh, that was I meant to do that. Um, it really. I mean, other than the gathering, I guess you need to survive your first night, but it's not really anything like that, and I will be back. I just got a phone call, which I extremely hate. I'll be right back. All right, and now we're back. Um, yeah, just a phone call from a friend. See, it's like I, I don't really uh, don't really dislike 
the people that call me. You know, I, I, I do enjoy uh, talking to my friends and everything, but I don't know. Something about, I don't know it's the way the phone rings or something like that, but I cannot stand phones. I, I just don't, I don't know. I think they're really annoying. Like, I used to ask people, it's like, how can you stand having a cell phone? Because they're constantly getting called every two seconds. I I would lose it. About five minutes. Say, I'd, yeah, I'd have my phone on, on uh, what is it, that quiet or silenced or whatever you call it. I don't even own a cell phone. Uh, never owned one. But, um, yeah, that's probably what I would end up having. It just, just a quiet cell phone. Cause, uh, but then there's no point. I mean, unless you just keep it for emergency, but, you know. Not like I go out much. Just kind of, kind of unfortunate. There we go. Get the clay. I need to, actually, with my iron, I should get a new pick and sell this one to the merchant when he gets here. Oh, and uh, a lot of stuff you can sell to the merchant won't have any value, but it's kind of nice because it's like throwing it in the garbage, basically. So you don't have to keep it in your chests. Oh, damn it. There we go. I think this is enough clay. Um, let's get out of this pit in the ground. Oh, perfect. Just as uh, daytime gets here. Hopefully the zombies will go away before I get out. And what do we do? This ought to work. There we go. Now I'm stuck. Is that a meteorite had landed? I'd, I'd go check that out, you know, because that's pretty interesting. But just like corruption, and actually worse than corruption, you'll just get destroyed if you don't have the right stuff. And um, one of the things that really helps with that... How oh, you... What the, did you... Uh, probably hindsight is twenty twenty. So I'd probably watch the video and wonder what the hell I'm thinking. But, um, yeah, you'll get destroyed by higher level enemies. It'll just, just annihilate your face in a second. And uh, you need... Usually a tool that really helps though is uh, the obsidian skull, which is crap from obsidian, obviously. Um, gives you a little more defense, but the more important thing is it um, negates damage from fire type blocks. Can I make a silver pick? I don't really want one, it's kind of worthless. Well, not worthless, but you get what I mean. Uh, I'll just do iron for now, it works good enough at the beginning. Move the gel over there. Okay, let's make some copper armor. Oh, perfect. I have just enough for uh, full copper. I don't know what set bonus is in there. I got it. Oh, set bonus to defense. See, I look like a chick in that. Do you see that? It looks like the, the little hair bun on the back. That's kind of humiliating. I, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> I guess that's what that is. So... Make a silver weapon, silver bow, ten, five, and I probably should get a new sword first. I don't really want to get a new sword, but... Ah, to hell with it, I'll get a new sword. Oh, I need to get a new bow, it's nice. Decisions, decisions, yeah, it's new bow. I make an iron hammer. Yeah, that'd be nice. Iron hammer going. All right, I'll save the rest of my stuff. I'm not gonna spend it all now. Let's put all of it in the chest. Let's get my chest out of the out of the other chest here, and we'll move that stuff upstairs. Glowing mushrooms. We'll use that later. We'll have to make some more walls, make some more bricks, and then we'll be able to uh, upgrade our house. And hopefully, the merchant will come pretty soon, so we can sell that stuff. Wood wall, yes, please. All right, and there's probably a way to fast craft, but I have no idea how to do it. But it's insanely frustrating. So I just use the double click method where you click with your um, laptop mouse and the your normal mouse at the same time. It's much nicer. See, it's even faster in Minecraft. This game is not too quick. All right, so let's um, yeah, let's go. Let's go upgrade our house now. We got the red bricks. 
Got all that going. Oh, try to jump over that. Oh, god damn it. I forgot, I don't, I don't have any kind of double jump. So I gotta do that. That works. So let's see. Let's make it a little... Yeah, I'll try to make it just as high as that four bricks there. I forgot where the cave we were exploring was. I think this was that one over the hill. That's a bad thing about when whenever you quit playing a game like this for a while, you just forget where everything was. There we go. Two hit kills on the slimes now. That's really nice. Yeah, it's funny. When you play this game, you'll start getting to a point where you feel like you actually have accomplished something and then you realize you're nowhere near even the high tier weapons at all. Which is uh really odd. Oh yeah, I was making doors. Doors, chair, and a table. Actually, yeah, yeah we'll just do that. Oh nice, there we go. Look at that mushroom right there. It's really convenient. See, what are where are some other things I could talk about today? Uh, not much. I've uh learned I don't really want to play Call of Duty anymore. <laughs> That's for sure. I just so uh nothing against the game. I don't really hate it. Um, community. I guess it'd be annoying at times, but like I said, nothing really like against it. I'm not gonna start a humongous debate over it. But um, yeah, I'll probably just be playing uh games like this in Minecraft for a while. Might do some goofy cooperative things with monkey like playing gears or something like that but I uh kind of out of that kind of stage playing those kind of games it's like uh, I don't know Black Ops just didn't I think it's not a bad game so to say it's just I don't know I didn't really find it a lot of fun to play for some reason there we go yeah perfect we had just enough but uh I kind of wasted one right there put the table down chair down. Hopefully the, now the merchant should show up. I don't know why I put doors that lead to nowhere. I think it's because nah, I don't even know. Okay. Got the red bricks. Yeah, we have plenty to spare. Let's kill this slime to get the jail. So now the merchant should show up soon. Hopefully. Um, we'll go explore a cave while we wait for that, I guess. Let's get stone... Oh, and I can place that... Nope. God damn it. Alright. We'll place the chest upstairs. So we can quickly access that. And trust me, it's like, Oh, well, that's perfect. Alright. Go up here, place my chest. I don't really need to store as much now. Come here, merchant. But uh, here's how you sell the merchant. You just right-click on him to talk to him, kind of like you'd uh, talk to the guide. There we go. How much money do I have? Oh, I have two silver, all that copper. Okay. Wait, is that gold? Yeah, I have the gold coins already. I didn't even notice that. So here you go. You shop here, and it tells you the price they'll sell for. Like my copper pickaxe, one silver. There we go. Sell all our uh, useless crap we don't need. I'm going to keep that. Mining helmet is really important, but I can't get it yet. So we're, we'll come back for it when we have money. And you get money either by uh, by killing enemies, like you see the little coins drop, or you can um, you can get money by by just uh, selling things. Let's see, got that 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 mushrooms. All right, we're gonna go cut down some trees, and then we're gonna uh, more mushroom. There's some copper in the ground there, but I don't really care. I don't really have much use for copper anymore. So we're gonna go cut down some trees, and we're gonna go back in the ground and go get some more stuff, which is uh. This is kind of what a lot of Terraria is. It's just like Minecraft, I guess, in the sense, in that sense, not anymore. But just like any kind of game like this, is um, lots of collecting. You got to keep up. Except for this, it's really based around upgrading your materials, not so much as building. So there you go. Got some. Oh, acorns. So let's actually replant. So we get stuff later. There we go. 
and I think this was the cave we're exploring, which means I either might not want to explore it, or maybe I, um... Actually, I may, maybe I should explore it because of that, and go see how much for you know, see how much further down it goes, and, uh... Everything else like that. Anyways, I guess I will end the video soon. I'll find... What cave should we explore? I think this was a dud, but I'm not sure. Anyways, ending the video now. Thank you. If you liked it, like it. If you don't, you don't, I guess. But, um... Yeah, I'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching.